some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves looking at the aftermath of a rather sad little incident that involved six children being taken away by the state uh, because of, well, uh, I guess bad parenting skills on the part of this Sovtard couple right here. They apparently tried their Sovtard BS on the judge and, uh, well, ended up uh, being booted from the meeting and, uh, well, lost the trial. But they ended up trying to declare victory and dismissing the case themselves. And this phone call right here is them ranting and raving about the whole issue. And, well, uh, the uh, person on the other end takes it all in stride and puts them in their place a few times. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Yes, hi, hello. This is uh, Brittany Stevenson. I just spoke with you a little bit ago. And you had put... Yes. Okay. Y you put me through to uh, a, a, a meeting uh, with a Judge Petrie, is that right? Uh, we added you to the hearing, yes. Okay. Well... The thing is, he hung up on me, so I just need to report back to you that the case is dismissed. Yeah, yeah, what gives you the legal authority to uh, dismiss a case that was brought against you? As as far as I know, the judge and the plaintiff are the only ones that have the authority to uh, dismiss the case, not the defendant, who is the subject of the trial. So you might want to uh, actually do your research on this Kind of thing. I know I say that over and over again because I know soft tards and frauditors don't actually do research. They just pull stuff out of their ass and, well, hope it'll stick. You see, I asked for his oath and bond, which he's 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 uh, bound to by law. <laughs> you see, to give me. So. What's the care of? Him to give you that. I'm sorry, do what? What's the KRS that requires him to give you his oath and bond? Well, is that not your job description, ma'am? Shouldn't you know that? Well, let me give you a little tidbit of information right here. Uh, the reason why she's asking you about it, uh, Sov Tart, is most likely because well, it's a wild-ass claim that you're making. Uh, so you do know that claims require evidence and extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Before you come at somebody with that kind of claim, you need to have the exact statute ready to present. That's how the law works. That's how, well, just about anything in the real world works. you got to have... Uh, the facts to back it up, and if you don't have the statutes to back up what you're saying, then what you're saying is a bunch of bullshit. Yes or no? No, because you're... No. Oh, no, it's not? I, is this the courthouse? No. It's not? Yes. Are you, do you work for the court? Do you work for the law? I mean, does he know the law? Because I, mean, I don't even know him, actually, because he won't let me see his open bond. So... Um, actually what's happened here. That's why I asked you why what care is required to do that. Oh because we're talking we're we're talking about equity, ma'am. We're talking about property in this hearing, whether in the in the division of the um in this family court. So we need to have the credentials when we're talking about equity so we know that all parties involved have the authorization, okay, to arbitrate equity. That's all we're trying to do. We're we're ready to settle this matter. That's what we're interested in settling. It's been settled. No, it has. If it was settled, man, we wouldn't have had this hearing today. How can they settle that when there's when there's no consent to the commission? And see, there's no commission in the in the matter here, ma'am, because they haven't been able to get one. There's no consent to the commission, so this case is dismissed. We, but we we are interested in settling this. We really want to settle this. A uh, question, dude. Uh... Yeah, here's the thing. Uh, are you trying to dismiss the case 
or are you trying to get a settlement? Because if the case is dismissed, then you can't get a settlement. If the case has uh, been settled, then you can't get a dismissal. And you sure as hell can't dismiss the case yourself unless you are the one bringing the case or you are the judge. So what is going on here? Could it be that the consumption of all those lead paint chips over the years have uh, deteriorated your brain to the point where you can't, can't comprehend this kind of thing anymore? I mean, th I guess that would be why the judge took uh, your children away from you, because, well, uh, they'd probably be safer. And that's, that's what we'd like to do, is if, there's, if we can get the credentials to show where there's authorization to settle in arbitration, we would like to come back to the table and bring, bring settlement. Okay, we're not... We don't want to come and, and argue or anything of that nature. We just want to get all the facts out on the table so we can bring a settlement. Yeah. yeah. That's all. We're on the table. No, ma'am. All those, all those pleadings, all those. I, I have never all those, received an oath and bond from Mr. Petrie. Never. Now, see, ma'am, all those pleadings Ever. are hearsay. I have never received a, an oath or a an well, oath or a bond has never been received. What requires him to do that? U.S. Code Title. It's it's in it's in U.S. Code Title 18. Yeah, I couldn't find it in there. Could you be a bit more specific as to the exact location of it? I mean, I don't want to spend hours looking for it through these uh, documents. I mean, you should do the exact same thing and. Uh, Provide the exact location of your claim within this document right here. And the other ones that you're about to reference, uh, well, we'll get to those when you mention them. I'll just put it to you this way. None of them I don't think would mention it, especially the one about commerce, and especially not the one about the U.S. Coast Guard. Uh, yeah, so good grief, dude. Uh, you want to provide all these citations? Provide the correct ones, at least. It's in U.S. Code Title 14. It's in U.S. Code Title 15. You'll find it in U.S. Code Title 12. Okay, this is your code. This is the code that the government established. And this is the code that the government must follow the guideline in order to continue to do their job. This is all, this is it. So w besides the point, I mean, we, we are interested in settling this matter. Both parties involved are interested in just getting this settled so both parties can move on with their lives. Mr. Petrie, we would just like to make sure he is authorized. I've never seen this man's credentials, okay? This man has not seen my credentials. I agree with that. We agree with... <clears throat> If everybody wants to bring the credentials to the table, we'll, we we want to settle. Yeah, there's no seal on any of this paperwork, ma'am. It's all fraudulent. I, there's Every no, bit of it. There's, there's not one seal. There's My signature is not on anything. They have nothing. These people have destroyed my entire life and my children's life. And I'm not going away. And everybody's name that's been put on any of my, piece of, on any of my paperwork, I promise you, I am going to sue on a personal manner. Okay? Every single person I've spoken to texted with, emailed with, been in any hearing with, I will be coming to the table with, to settle with, because y'all picked this fight. I'm just finishing it. Do you understand? And that's... Do you understand? You've not been in any hearings, Stephen. You, you are, that's you correct. are so right. You're correct. That's how, that's why we're, we're here talking with you here, ma'am. Yeah. The, look. You, the court clerk kind of is, is the banker of the court. We know there's bonds here, okay? We're here to settle this tax issue, okay? That's what we're, we're here to, to, to offer here today. We don't even know the amount of the debt. We don't even got any fact of any detriment that, that, that's brought any consideration. That is all hearsay, man. We don't have any it, evidence of that. It is filed with no seals, ma'am. No this seals, no signature. We There's don't. No signature, no you seals. Don't have to have a seal. Oh yes, ma'am, you do. You, you do. I will tell you what. Every banking institution has to have a seal in order to have a uh, proper bond. I think I see where you're going wrong here. Essentially, you're calling the uh, clerk of court a banker and the uh, United States uh, a banking corporation. Uh, no, dude, it is a government. 
When will you Tards learn the difference between what a government is and a corporation? There are differences, and the United States fits in with the realm of a government. So, yeah, you really need to pull your head out of your ass and take a look at how the world really works. Circuit Court Clerk is not a banking institution. Yes, it is. You have a DUNS number and you have an EIN. You are a banking institution and you do file 1099As, ma'am. I know this for a fact. I am a banking examiner. Well, gee, I didn't know we had a bona fide uh, special bank examiner or whatever the hell you think you are. But uh, let me ask you something, uh, Mr. Bank Examiner. Uh, do you realize what the... Uh, EIN is, it is the employer identification number used for tax purposes for the IRS. Every single business has one for taxation purposes. Boy, oh boy, uh, I wonder where you get your information from, because it's certainly not from the correct sources. I mean, that uh, EIN stuff can be looked up on uh the IRS website quite easily, and I've had to use the uh, EIN from a previous employer. Now, I don't remember the reason why, but I know I had to look it up, and it wasn't that hard. I am a banking examiner, ma'am. If I want, I will. I will force you to bring those 1044s to ensure the tax is made on those bonds, because I guarantee you're not paying the tax on them. And this is a huge problem, ma'am. We're we're here to settle. Okay, we could do it the easy way or the hard way. If you want the IRS and the Treasury involved in your breach of trust, we can bring it. Or we can do this the easy way, and you can settle everything out of that payment bond and the performance bond. We can file the paperwork. We can send you the paperwork so it's legit. And we're going to ask you to settle this out of those accounts because you have three accounts there I see so far. And I'm pretty sure I can dig up three or four more. These accounts are going to be handed over to the SEC, the IRS, the Treasury, and the Postmaster Inspector General. If we don't get something straight here, that man cannot sign off on paperwork without consent. That is theft. We are talking about equity here, ma'am. And no courthouse has ever produced any evidence that they have the authority. If that man moved forward, he left the bench. I'm asking you if you're ready to settle this matter. Because we are. In what universe does it mean that just because the judge leaves the bench means that you automatically win the case, that the case is dismissed or anything like that? I don't know. I've never heard of such a place, but... uh. Maybe it's something that you dreamed up in that, uh, well, paint chip rattled brain of yours. And we're wanting you to settle them out of that payment and performance bond, and I will give you the assignment of how to do it. You already know how, but we're going to direct you where. I don't know how. The hell you don't, ma'am. That court clerk knows how to make those bonds. We know where they go, ma'am. If this is the way you were talking to the judge earlier, I just can't help but wonder if uh, that's the reason why uh, he ruled on your case in that manner. And by the way, this uh, person on the other end of the phone is really handling you quite well with those questions that you don't have uh, the right answers for. Oh, my God. Goodness. You make a you make a performance bond, an appearance bond, and a payment bond on every case, on every account, ma'am. It's a nine digit number. It's got a QCIP number, right along with your DUNS number, right along with your EIN number. Ma'am, we're not here to argue, we're here to stand in common. We just want to settle this matter because all parties I'm involved. Not saying anything. You're the one arguing. I'm not arguing, ma'am. I'm telling you exactly how the courts work. They are okay. banking institutions, ma'am. Because ma you told us that you did not know the law yourself, even though you represent it. And I'm, 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 I'm here to stand the law, ma'am. So I'm trying to help you. I am the banking examiner. Okay. I will tell you this right now. All the language. About performance bond? There is a. Uh, well, okay. With every court docket, there is a, an appearance bond. Okay, so they get that bond as soon as they appear to court. Then there's a performance and a payment bond. Okay, I'll guarantee you they're there because the government provides the forms for us to use to liquidate them. And the comptroller told us to bring them to you. That's the comptroller, the IRS, and the Treasury, ma'am. We just want to settle this matter. 
and the bench isn't interested in settling. This case is dismissed. Uh, this case has been adjudicated. Uh, that case, I don't give a shit what's on that paper, man. You're going to have to take that up with the IRS and the Treasury. They don't care about your language. They don't care. They want to know if you got a fraudulent security or not. And, man, right now, I think I have full evidence that you do. Ma'am, can you well, can you all, can you describe what you just said? What you said, adjudicated. I'm sorry. Can you, back up. I need you to describe what you said. No, no, no. Adjudicated. No. Adjudicated. What's that? What is? All, what does that all, mean? He has no dog in this fight. Who? Well, he does because he I say you. I say so. That's why. And because I'm the one in charge here. Do you understand that? Oh, you're the one who has all the power here. Uh, no. Apparently, you. Didn't because, well, uh, the judge ended up making a ruling that uh, had your kids taken away by the state, uh, which in this case I think would be a good thing. I think they'll be better off than having parents like you around. And then there's the issue of you not knowing what the uh, definition of adjudicate is. Well, here it is on the screen. Right here. If you can read it, fine. If not, well, I'm sure as hell not going to read it for you. I do too much already for you by showing everything else that you've gotten wrong so far. Ma'am, we all... Okay. Oh, sweetheart, listen to me very we carefully. I had to flee the state because these people tried to kill me. You have no idea. You are in up to your neck and shit that you don't even recognize. They stole my kids, my house, my farm. I'm in over six counties. You think you're the only county I'm going to bat with here? And you think this is the only individual that's going to bring this matter to the state of Kentucky? Ma'am, there's a powder keg sitting in this country right now. The people have full knowledge of how they've been getting screwed around by the judicial and the courts. And we're, and we're done with it. We just want to settle these matters so we can liquidate these bonds so we can move on with our life. Okay? These poor offspring in the matter here are at risk. These poor offspring do not deserve this type of, of lifestyle, this type of experience in life from the judicial needs family courts. They have no authority to do this, okay. ma'am. They don't have the authority, ma'am. I don't know who you are. I know, and I don't know you, I don't know who you are, ma'am, either, but we are among the same people. Don't we sojourn upon the same land, you and I? Are we not of the same people? And, here, and that we actually, I come into agreements with what you just said. I don't know you either. And I don't know this judge. And that's why I'm calling you to inform you that this man that you sent me to, that I'm just informing you that the man that you sent me to hung up on me because I asked for his oath and bond. That is on the record what happened. Do you understand what that means? Well, I'm sure the judge asked the same question that this clerk asked of you. Can you show me the, where it says that in any statute? And uh, when uh, you were unable to provide it, I'm sure, well, the judge wasn't exactly happy with you because, when, like I said before, when you make a claim, you've got to present evidence to back it up. And if you can't present the evidence, then you're full of shit. If you don't, then you need to go back to the law books that y'all made, okay, and read them. Hey, look, but that's the truth. We either get the man's credentials or we settle or the IRS and the Treasury come in and get those credentials and they settle in their matter. And I'll guarantee you, ma'am, I don't think that district attorney wants to pull out those 1044s. I will promise you that. And I think you know very well what I'm talking about. Do you think that? Do you think that? We don't have a district attorney. The hell you don't. We don't have a district Ma'am, do you have a county attorney? No, we don't. Do you have a county attorney? We have a county attorney. Okay, there's a there's and Commonwealth attorney. Okay, okay now so where Same is thing. that filed? Where is that filed? I was filed? filed in my county. You Hello, see? there's Boom. DA Elkinson. I know he's on the list. Guess what? So are you? All of it. Come on, ma'am. We we are of the people in this land here, ma'am. Okay, we're we're done. I am of the people. Yes, we are together in this. We stand in common, ma'am. We do. We stand in common. No. You, so you don't you oh. don't find it you, you don't find it to be in common. So any so you you're saying that any individual that puts some letters behind their name can sign off and steal property without consent, including children. That's against the law, ma'am. And you're going to find that out when it comes to trust law and commerce law. We are dealing with nothing more than a commercial tax issue here, ma'am. And we're here to settle, and the bench refused to settle. Yes, that would be. Me. Mm -hmm. Hello. Do you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Hello. Yep, I hear you. Do you hear me? I hear 
are you, I have to tell you, there's nothing more that I can do for you. If you feel that you have been done wrong or that this is not correct, then oh, no. it's not a feeling i'm just letting you know what happened i'm i'm letting you know what happened ma'am i don't have a feeling okay i'm just i have the facts and the receipts on all of it so you need to understand i have the back side and the front side all of it you, you're not you're not listening here okay i'm telling you do you hear the words that are coming out of my mouth? This one. Do you feel that this mm. is incorrect? Ma'am, do you have an oath? I do. I, I feel this is incorrect. Ma'am, do, do. do you have an oath? Ma'am, did you take an oath? Are you elected? Ms. Stevenson, if you feel that this is not correct, you need to retain a... Ma'am? I have the right to defend myself. Do you have an oath? It is my unalienable right. You've crossed all of them. Next. What's your next question? Do you have an oath, ma'am? Okay. What's your next question? question. All right. Well, guess what? I'm I'm the one taking question. I'm the one that's I'm the one here that's letting you know the facts, ma'am. This is what's happened. I have all my receipts. I've spent three years inside of this, and we are we we have it all. You have an opportunity right now to do the right thing We're before God and everybody else to do the right thing. Okay, you know what the right thing is. I'm I'm all I am the messenger. I'm just telling you what happened, ma'am. What, what we'd like from what we'd like right here is if we could get all the information on how many counts that we are addressed. We're going to need to address here, so that we can liquidate these accounts and finalize this deal we need to settle this matter because it's getting out of hand it's getting everything no ma'am we're here to settle if the bench does not want to settle this case is dismissed and we're going to hand you over to the irs the treasury i'm not threatening you ma'am i'm telling you where you're going you're informed you're, you're notified. informed right here they're all right they're here notified. they're all notified. the judge left the bench that's going to be right to the kentucky bar it says right there if that judge leaves the bench and that's in Kentucky rule. If that judge leaves the bench, that case is dismissed. And actually, ma'am, it's already that's been three dismissed. times. That's three times in this case in this these accounts mm -hmm. that the judges have left the bench. It's actually, the fourth. There's we, four right there. You know, dude, I spent some time trying to look for that little uh, law or statute or anything like that that you just talked about. Yeah, I couldn't find it, dude. I mean, could you at least provide a citation for that? I mean, it would be most beneficial to your argument if you could do that. But for given from what I've seen, I don't think you're capable of doing that. We're telling you so you are notified, and this is recorded, that we're here to settle. If the, you're recording me? You're recording me. You are recording me. You, my you are, everything's recorded, man. We're talking on recording devices, Okay. How do you know the government's not recording you? How do how can you guarantee me that you are not recording me either? All courthouse lines are recorded, ma'am. Oh, I know that but, for a fact. But anyways, but but, 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 but uh, all courthouse lines are recorded. What gives you the authority to record me without my consent? This isn't the court. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. She just admitted this is not the courthouse line. So, ma'am, you uh, that's which is exactly why we need your oath and bond. Same with the judge, because we don't even know who you are. Ma'am, come on. Do you see this? So, uh, that's the thing. Okay, so, we don't know who you people are. So, you, you guys, do, you so don't have... number are you called... So, just re-identify yourself. Sure. Start over. Start from the beginning. Okay? Who are you? Who are you? Who do you work for? And what is your W-9? I'd like to have your employee identification number right now. Yeah, we're going to need a copy of that. That's your, what I need right now. Your W-9, we're going to need your, your uh, basically your 10. I have no 10, idea what my, your, I have no idea what my employee number is. Ma'am, that court has an EIN number, a tax identification number, okay? An employee identification oh, number. Uh, dude, uh, the W-9 that you requested is for the taxpayer identification number uh your ein is the employer identification number so you're telling me that as uh your banker investigator or whatever that you think you are you can't tell the difference between the either number that you don't know what they are then how the hell are you able to uh, even, never mind. It, it's just, it's getting way, 
way too stupid here. Administrative office of the courts. Listen, I'm sorry. I, we are getting nowhere in this conversation. I, I know, ma'am, because I, you, you are failing to recognize that you have a duty to do and you've been neglecting your duty. You I, that's what we're trying to find out. How come we can't move forward with this? How come you keep holding this up? How come you do not want to settle this? We're calling. We want to settle. Okay, so the judge doesn't have the authorization, ma'am. You do. You have the authorization. You have more power than he does. You got more authority than the yes, judge. You do. Yes, the you do. Does. You're the court clerk. You're the banker. Your signature is more powerful than the judge. Want me to tell you? I'll get. Look, ma'am. Who's the court clerk? So you're not. We're not even talking to the right person. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Perfect. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Well, can we talk to your supervisor so we can settle this? Can we get back to the beginning here? Who's who? Who's who? We need. Well, look. Are you are you the court clerk? Can we you settle this here today? Is this Martha? Is this? You have called the family court office. If you want the circuit court clerk, you need to Google it and call the clerk. No, ma'am. You are the trusted trustee, and if I ask you for that number and you don't give it to me, you are in breach of trust. You have a fiduciary duty. I'm not. Okay, so why are you calling the, me from this line trying to identify yourself? Then we I think you're a bit confused. You're the ones that called her, not the other way around. You might want to, uh, well, go get your uh, mental status checked out, I think. Can we talk to the court clerk? For Bo Boyle County, and Wait. then you put me into a conference call with this, with this man named... Uh, Judge well, Petrie, whoever Petrie that something. guy is. Who's I that guy? I don't know who this man is, but obviously he has confusion because he has no seal, no oath, no bond, I mean, nor does he even know the language of English. Can he sit, sit in a conversation to speak to the victims that he's destroyed? Oh, yeah. There we go. The typical sovereign citizen, uh, frauditor, Karen, uh, BS, uh, blaming everybody else but themselves. You know, you really need to take a good long look in a mirror and realize that perhaps you're the one that might be at fault for the re reason why your children were taken away from you. It wasn't everybody else. It was you. This is a crime, ma'am. Do you understand what you're a part of? Yes or no? Do you understand? No. There are six well, children here that I have mean, been kidnapped. There's a lot of claims as who people are. He says he's a judge. There's no evidence of that. That he says he's a magistrate. There's no evidence of that. That's all we're asking for. Hey, if, if you claim this is who you are, let's see your credentials. Let's see where you get your authorization. That's all we're asking. Where do you get your authorization to claim these things? Where does anybody in that courthouse get their authorization to make any claims? Once we get that, then we will establish what jurisdiction means. Because I can guarantee you, you're not in mine. None. You're, you're, you're subject to our jurisdiction, ma'am. You work for us. We want to settle this matter. Can we get somebody on the phone that can settle this? Can we talk to the court clerk? Who's your supervisor? No. I don't care about the judge. He's oh. he's irrelevant here. The court clerk makes the decision. Yeah, he's pipsqueaked us. At that that guy ain't nothing but referees. He didn't left the bench. I'm that, done that's with just him. Some, that's just you some guy that, that went to Amazon, bought a costume, and, and, and threw it on his shoulder and said, I'm the judge. There's no honor. There's no honor in that. There's no credentials. He is the mockery of the court. Just because you put a black robe on and sit upon a freaking chair upon an elevated bench doesn't mean you're the judge. You know, you are definitely right on that part right there. Just because you put on a black robe robe and sit on that bench doesn't mean you're a judge. What really uh, tells you you're the judge is that, well, you have the uh, years of law school behind you. You've been elected to sit on that bench and uh, you have earned the right to put on the robe that is given to you once you have done that. Not to mention a lot of years actually practicing law and not being a pretender like you because, well, to be quite honest, uh, everything you've cited is a load of bullshit. And if you can't uh, be bothered to uh, cite anything useful, then I can see why it was so easy for the judge to make their decision on this one. It was probably not that hard at all. I mean, your uh, standards of evidence are quite weak. Your education is 
lackluster at best. I mean, citation-wise, you have no idea what you're doing. I mean, I, it's a, it, I'm sure it was very easy. You gotta have five O's, man. Five O's. You've gotta be bonded, man, through an insurance company, ma'am. Where are those credentials? Without those credentials, this is null and void. That man left the bench. It's looking bad. In it's looking bad room. for the guy. It's gonna look you so tell me, bad. ma'am. We're, we just want to settle this. Can you get somebody on the phone that can settle this matter here today? Or do we got to get the IRS to do it? I don't care. We want to settle today. Is that possible? You were on the hearing. You were talking to well, the Well, that's the point. That's, that's why, the point. That's why I'm calling you because I'm informing you of what happened. You weren't there. He right? left the hearing. You, but I'm informing you, okay, because you're the one that put me in contact with him because you represent Bull County, which is what you told me. That's the truth, right? And so I, I'm coming back to you just to inform you. This is what happened. When I asked the man for his oath and bond, he got nervous and he hung up on me. Now, is he capable... Okay, is he competent enough to be in a conversation with me? Yes or no? I need to know that. And the only way I can know that is if he shows me. Okay, show me the papers. You see, you people are the one that ask us to this meeting. Okay, we, we comply to your meeting. Okay, all we ask is you comply. It wasn't a meeting. Well, you can it, call it what you want, ma'am. You can well, call it whatever you want, you but there's no evidence of that. You can label, you can, <laughs> obviously, y'all can write whatever story you want to. I mean, because basically, all, a bunch of basically hearsay. All, all of it, all those pleadings are here, hearsay, and that's been put on the record, okay? Yep. Hearsay from an incompetent individual that that bench deemed incompetent due to the fact that he hired an attorney, and that's defined in the Black's Law Dictionary, Volume 4. Oh, I think they're going in Volume 6 now. Uh-oh. He Come knows on, which the language. Wait Here's a minute. the language. He knows it. He knows <laughs> oh, man. it. Man. Shoot. Uh, dude, uh, this is how Black's Law Dictionary 4th Edition defines incompetency. Uh, it really only applies to you in this particular circumstance and your uh, friend over there. Uh, because, well, you do realize the judge is there as a referee, as you put it earlier, and there it has to be a lawyer for the plaintiff's side. I mean, just because there's a lawyer doesn't mean that somebody's incompetent. It means that they're smart enough to figure out that they may need legal help because they don't know everything. Maybe that would have prevented you from losing your freaking children. So how come... We're admis How come we're admitting history? all these incompetent pleadings through a brain jackass called an attorney with no fact? There's no fact on this. There's no fact in dispute. There's no. There's no fact on the record. Nothing. None. Y'all are. In and you guys are. Cut and you're. And you're sitting here, and you're going to arbitrate equity in admiralty? Come on, ma'am. You got to be smarter than that. You got a fraudulent security. And here's the thing. Um, we have it all. Let's let's just get somebody on the phone right now that we can give the information to so we can get this settled today. We need those bonds liquidated because these these offspring are hurting. They deserve better than this, ma'am. And if you claim to be doing this in the best interest of them offspring, then you're going to settle today. We need your supervisor. Ma'am, here's, here's where we're at, okay? The judge left the bench. I'm not responsible. No, yes, you are. Here's, here's yes, what, you are. Here's, here's your boss. Here's, here's your boss. boss. Look, that judge, that okay, judge, we have you. we have a certified male, okay, with an unrebutted affidavit on that judge, okay? I don't care. We're, we're done asking questions. We're here to settle. If he does not want to settle, we've already got chain of custody on his ass, okay? He's already admitted that he committed crime. We have an unrebutted affidavit. The who? The her. Okay, we're talking about commerce, okay, and a commercial tax. That judge knows the four judicial canons that govern that bench, okay? That man went out his conduct. I don't care, ma'am. Get us your supervisors so we can settle. Or if we're not going to settle, we're done. Yes, I just want, I want you to give the judge this one. I just want you to give the judge this one message. I don't need any of your statements any further, okay? I'm done with you, okay? You just need to let him know this. Okay. All right? Okay, ready? Have a good day. The jig is up. Let him know that.
Okay. The jig is up. You, so no settlement, no case. She hung up. Oh, no, no settlement, no case. Uh, well, dude, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but the case has already been adjudicated. I mean, you lost your children. I mean, if you put this kind of argument together in front of the judge and tried to talk to them like this, is it any wonder why you had your children taken away? I mean, they probably will be much better off without you. I mean, they may, it may take a while to put them together with a good family, but that would probably be the better alternative here. I truly feel for them. I mean, having to be raised by a couple idiots like you, uh, but maybe they'll grow up realizing that, hey, my parents were a couple of numbskulls that couldn't get it together and, well, perhaps be better than they were. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you putting cereal? Who's that?